The Nigeria Labor Congress, PENCOM, and other agencies have agreed with the Inspector General of Police over the exemption of the Nigeria Police Force from the Contributory Pension Scheme. This happened during a one-day public hearing on two bills by the House Committee on Pension on Tuesday at the Nation's Assembly. Emmanuel Ehijane's report is presented from our studio. Following the removal of the Nigerian Army, the Navy, and the Air Force and most early security agencies from the contributory pension scheme, the Nigeria police is now demanding an exemption as well. This follows a motion on the floor of the House of Representatives by Honorable Ejirogane Wave, who is supporting the exemption of the police from the scheme, saying it will boost the morale of officers and men. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Akalibaba, represented by the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Sanusi Lemu, said the police should be placed on same status like the armed forces and the DSS since their duties involved taking maximum risk in protecting the internal security of the country and maintaining law and order. Those presently exempted are the military and uh, the intelligence, the, the secret service and all of that. The Nigerian uh, pension, uh, contributory pension scheme was designed after the Chilean experience where the military and the police were exempted. But in our case, when the law was enacted, somehow the police was uh, left out of it. And I thought this was uh, not uh, good enough, judging from the fact that the police, they carry a lot of the burden, in fact, most of the burden of law enforcement in the country. The need for the exit of the members of the Nigerian police force who perform both military and intelligence functions in addition to their statutory functions from the current contribution pension scheme has become expedient. The justification for this position is that the Nigerian police force is the lead agency started with the responsibility of maintaining internal security, law and order in the country with attendant risk and sacrifices, including the supreme sacrifice by virtue of their statutory responsibility as such should get equal treatment with the armed forces on other intelligence services. This position was however countered by PENCOM and the Nigerian Labour Congress stating that removing the police will make the scheme unsustainable. They further stated that it will add additional financial burden on the federal government as well as discourage other agencies' participation. We are very surprised because we did meet with the Nigerian police force and the IG sent a DIG, the SGF chaired the meeting. And at the meeting, the representative of the IG did tell us categorically that the police was not interested in exiting the CPS. This is our third time coming to this house for this same purpose of the attempt to remove the police. And we, we have to ask these basic questions. What has changed? We have with the money to fund the divine benefit scheme for exempted officers come from. Will it still be funded from national budget that is currently hardly sufficient to fund other commitments of government, including health care and social security? Though Majority of the stakeholders at the public hearing favored the exemption of the police from the scheme. The committee has said that it will look at it in general on its merit before sending it to the committee for further inputs. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.